Notion is the gift that keeps on giving. We keep getting these new updates and features because Notion actually listens to the users. This video will cover the 8 new Notion updates with the first one being by far my favorite. Let's jump straight into the video. The first new feature is a built-in progress bar for your number properties. When editing a number property, you are now able to show the number as a bar or ring visualization. You are able to choose a color for your progress bar and enter a custom number to divide your number property by. An example of how you could use this progress bar would be to calculate your monthly budget. If you have a roll-up property calculating your total expenses, you can add a formula property and select that roll-up so that you can use the roll-up just like a number property and add your progress bar. The second update I want to share is the new and improved relation property. It's now much easier and quicker to select a relation due to the simplified design and the option to select which information you want to show in the relation property. You also have the option to change the limit of relations you can select to one page only. Pretty useful if you ask me. The next update on this list is the status property. The status property has three stages and inside each of these stages you can add as many options as you want. You can change their color, set the default option and also choose to show the status property as a checkbox. When you use the status property in a board view, you can either group the board view according to the options or the three stages. Our next update has to do with templates. If you have multiple templates for a specific database, you can now set one of them as your default template. This means that every time you create a new database entry, it will automatically apply the template to the new page. It's a small feature, but it makes a big difference. Speaking of a big difference, the first update and by far my favorite is the new Notion icons. When you add a new icon, you can now select one of the 600 different Notion icons. Each of these icons are also available in the 10 different Notion colors. These new icons look amazing and works effortlessly. I did not expect this update, but boy am I glad we have it. The next update, and one you're probably already using, is the new side peak view. The side peak view will open a database page on the right hand side, making it a lot easier to edit while at the same time keeping your database items visible and interactive. You can set the default for how database pages open by selecting edit default view. Absolutely love this feature. Our next update is for multi-column layouts. When you hover over images or embedded content, you now have the option to align your content so you can create the perfect layout. It's a subtle but useful feature. The last update on this list is for people working in a team. You now have the ability to reply to comments using emojis and you can also preview discussions. When you copy and paste a discussion link, you can either create a full width block or you can paste it as a mention for a preview in line with your text. I'm curious to know what you think about these new Notion updates. Which update was your favorite and what updates would you like to see Notion implement in the future? Let's start a conversation down in the comments. If you got value from this video, I'd really appreciate the like. And if you didn't like this video, press the dislike button twice, just to be sure. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.